hey guys welcome to my channel today is the first episode of my dear diary series and as you can see from the topic and as i've mentioned in my last video i'll be talking about depression decision and heartbreak yeah i'm talking about all this with a smile on my face like it's not serious but anywho that's what i'll be talking about today and i am extremely nervous let's start with the depression part um the first time i experienced depression was um back in 2020 december um it was in the midst of the pandemic i first year in japan first christmas alone so it was about so it started our own christmas week um same week with, within like my birthday and christmas is like less than a week apart during that time and like it lasted about two months that was the first time i think i i could actually recognize that i was like experiencing depression i'm not saying it didn't happen before or um it was in fact the first time but it's the first time like i ever um noticed it and probably it was because i was like living alone in a foreign country didn't have much friends and stuff um, that was the first time that it actually happened um, and I did talk about it a little bit in a video I made January 2021 um, yeah this video and I will link that down below if you want to watch it it's not like I didn't talk about it much um, yeah so that's the first time I experienced depression second time and I hopefully the last uh, started in December again like December I do not like the winter seasonal depression is a thing but I know it's not just the season alone that um, cause it but like um, I'm, a, I'm a tropical girl I like the Sun <laughs> don't like to be wearing so much clothes I like the Sun you know so it started again same time around my birthday Christmas week around my birthday and god i was trying to fight it because i recognized the same sin things that were happening the first time were happening again like many many things um I'm like shit this is gonna happen again so um what i did was i tried to <sighs> all right give me a second my thoughts are all over the place so yes um it happened I noticed like the same things were happening. I was sleeping a lot and anyone who knows me, I only sleep six, um, seven to eight hours a night. I go to bed the same time, usually the same time unless I'm going out. I go to bed like 10 to um, 11 and I get up from 5.30, 6.30 there about, usually about six. Those are my, and I always get up that time I was going to bed on time, but like I noticed I was sleeping like 10 hours, 12 hours 13 hours like non-stop and i'm like shit this is happening again i lost my interest in everything like um and even before i continue let me make this big big disclaimer i know i am not a psychiatrist i'm not a psychologist even though psychologists are well in some states in the u.s they can um diagnose people but anyways i'm no psychiatrist no mental health specialist no none of that but like and i'm not trying to self-diagnose as well i'm just associating things like i know even if i was a psych um psychiatrist or anything, something like that i couldn't like it wouldn't be wise to self-diagnose but i think that's what i was um experience you can see i'm nervous i was experienced i'm like there's a 99 percent chance that that's 95 that was what i was going through depression um and yeah there's like a great chance and even if it wasn't depression like whatever was happening was inherently neg um negative so that's not good and i'm talking about that but i think it was depression so yeah that out of the way big disclaimer i am no psychologist as you already know that but anyways i noticed a lot of things loss of interest like since then and recording this video i have not sold anything the last thing i saw was in christmas week when i made my friends like stuff 
I haven't sewn since then and I love sewing. I haven't taken up the machine. I haven't been anywhere except New Year's Eve. And the only reason I went out on New Year's Eve was I had obligations. I don't like cancelling on people last minute. I don't like making plans and cancelling. And the entire time I was out, I wanted to go home. I haven't been, literally haven't been anywhere. Except for the movies. The movies is like right over there. I haven't been doing anything more than watching TV, staying in since then. Um, speaking now, of course, I am in a much better space, but like, just giving you some backstory. So, my heart is racing. <sighs> All right, let me slow down. I'm gonna take a break. Can you believe that right after I came back from that little break that I said I was taking like a two minutes break? <laughs> I was recording for like chatting for 10 minutes and this wasn't recording. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna have to say all of that again. Hopefully I remember what I was saying. So like yeah, I'm no psychiatrist. None of that. I think that was where I was the last time and stuff. But I did spend a lot of time with the D DSM in undergrad, the diagnostic and statistical manual of mental disorders, DSM 5 when I was in undergrad. I, I had many courses that I had to use the DSM, so I'm kind of familiar with symptoms and signs of depression and stuff. Well, everyone, most people are, but like, you know, the, from the source, the DSM. <laughs> so I'm kind of familiar with it. Like, I think that's what, where I was the last time I was chatting. So anyways, I lost interest in like a lot of things. I didn't want to do anything. Um, I was overly anxious and annoyed about every little thing <sighs> and my appetite i was eating man like i tried to like carb my cravings but i did because like i would have put on more weight actually looking fine <laughs> anyways so like i was hungry for the few hours i was up because like, when it started i was on break i had a two week break in christmas so I was like mainly home and stuff when it started and as I was overly anxious, angry and stuff, I tried, I tried to like, when I realized Christmas week, like shit, this is happening again. I tried to go out like on the road and on the Sunday and the Saturday I would go out and like on the street, like on my birthday, I got dressed because my friend wanted to take me out but she was working and I'm like no nah, you're gonna be tired other people asked me to go too like and I'm like mm -mm, I'm not in the mood but like she was gonna take me somewhere close to my home I'm like you, you're gonna be tired and stuff so because she had work and stuff and I'm like no nah, I'm gonna stay home so I'm losing my chain at all I don't know why I don't know why I was matching my dog. But anywho, she, we, we didn't go anywhere. But I put on my clothes in the day and I went on the road. I tried to like listen to music and be jovial. I got some Starbucks and stuff. I bought chicken. I bought a lot of stuff. And then like, that was the day I decided to give up. I was just in the mall and I was angry and I was just anxious and I couldn't wait to go home. And that was the day I was like, just give in to it. Stop fighting yeah so that's the day i decided to give in like whatever whatever and i was like in such a bad state like mentally i was just upset stressed and angry with no good reason to be angry i didn't have any good reason to be angry i didn't have any reason to be like upset until i did but <laughs> i didn't at the time um yeah and it, during that time like i had a lot of decisions to make so i'm going over to the decisions part you now like i was considering should i stay with my com the company that i'm working with should i do this should i do that should i do this should i do that and it was contributing to my stress that that's where i started getting stressed out because i started looking at other jobs from november and like uh, like some of the requirements the things the job descriptions, like, I'm, I'm supposed to do all of this for like just 10,000 10, yen more, not even 100 US more a month. So much more work for what? And that money would have gone out, like, because the area that I was planning to move to, the rent was like 
more expensive and stuff and i was like so many decisions like should i continue with this company when they asked me if i'm going to continue should i um i ultimately um applied to a few jobs and i got called for three interviews emailed for three interviews and i didn't do them like i couldn't handle them at the time to be honest like i wasn't i couldn't deal with them at the time so i didn't do those interviews i just like didn't respond to the emails which is very i know it's very very bad so i had many decisions to make like when january came about like they were asking they were telling me oh it's time to change your car i'm like because the insurance is gonna be open and stuff and i'm like should i change this car should i because i can't but i had to anyways because like there were so many decisions i had to make so many like and i had to think thinking about everything like if i told them that i didn't want to like change a car the car um insurance i think the whole can or something insurance would have been finished on the 18 my contract finished on the 17 which means like if i told them no just come and take the car i wouldn't have any car after that and if i plan to move i wouldn't have anything to move with to help me move and like i live in an area that the buses aren't like very frequent like not like probably one uh, once at all there's a bus and stuff so i'm like mm -mm -mm -mm. so many things to think about and it was stressing me out more and more and more and more and like so many decisions I know one thing was sure though is like if I was staying with the company with Interact, I wasn't going to keep this apartment. That was one thing that was certain. I wanted a, a bigger place and I was like looking at places too. But then again, I couldn't like proceed because there were so many things that were uncertain, unsure. Like if I stay with Interact, will Interact win back the contract in this area? Because like they have to renew their contract. I'm like, will they win it back? so many questions like i had so many decisions to make and i was like most of those things though like no like all of those like a pass the apartment the car because like, they came and changed the car and like i was hoping for a white car this time and i got a white car because the first time i got a silver car which was brand new then I had the black one, which wasn't new and smelled like cigarette. Um, that one that I had for the last year, a little, a year and two months. And then two weeks ago, I got a brand new, like literally just drive off wherever I drive off from. I can see it had like less than a hundred kilometers on it. And it's because I had to drive it here from Tochigi, I think um brand new and like i feel like a brand new girl even though it's a rental <laughs> i'm gonna show you it i'm gonna show you it at the end of this video maybe yes so i went from silver to black now to a brand new white one and the white one is the up, up to date one like button start and all those things anyways this is not what this is about the decisions i had like many 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 decisions to make like at one point i thought i should run away <laughs> i should just pack up my stuff and leave japan <laughs> i should run away I should just run away from my problems and stuff and from so many decisions like adulting is hard i need a refund but anywho let's go to i know a lot of y'all waiting on this part the heartbreak part so i remember the last i think the last q a video i made was december 2021 yeah that year because like i was aware that year before i was depressed so i made an entire itinerary for december 2021 and i skipped the depression part even though the weather was stressing me out i did not go into a state of depression the previous christmas it was my first year in japan and this last christmas so 2021 i made a q a video and of course people people fast you know people are, are asking like if i if i had a boyfriend or like dating in japan and stuff and like that and at the time, I, I told the truth, like, I had no intentions of dating. My mind is not there at all. No intentions of dating. No little sneaky link. Nobody texting me those kind of way and stuff. I would talk to, like, my friends. I don't have a lot of male friends, though. But, like, once in a while, like, hey, you're good and like that. So, um, I had no intentions of dating for real no intentions no interest but 
less than two weeks after posting that video i was out in tokyo and i met this guy yes i'm blushing and we clicked like that night as other people approached me and stuff so back for my instagram and uh, my phone number i didn't give like i gave one two persons my instagram yes but like um i wasn't too interested at all i wasn't interested but then like this this is the last guy i met that night and i'm like we clicked like click like instant connection it just felt like i knew him i don't know why and like that's it now it was new year's day and new year's day that was early in the morning and that same night i went out with him with my friends and his friend because like i told him we clicked and we talked throughout the whole of new year's day and stuff and we went out and since then we were we were inseparable for six months like i spent all my free time with him on my weekend same he does like his free time his weekend his vacation and stuff like we we're inseparable and he was like a great guy we had like six great months until he started having like to go away for his job he started going away i feel like i'm gonna cry <laughs> anyways so yes um we were inseparable like he was a perfect man perfect guy mommy bye bye you don't need to hear this so <laughs> yes um i met him and we were inseparable and he was a great guy <laughs> great i loved his body his personality his period i just loved everything about him and he was well spoken i like that like, i'm attracted to that kind of thing if you're gonna come here with your rubbish mm -mm. so i thought it was very smart that's something i look up to i like i don't care if you're smarter than me that yeah and stuff so we were inseparable for the first six months and then he has started having to go away for work my eyes and stuff so that's when we started spending a little less time together because um, of work but like whenever he had time or he was in japan we would still spend all time together but he started going away more and more and his work keeping sending him like more and more and more and stuff and we would still spend our time together and then came january 8th when he told me that he's leaving japan permanently his work is sending him to a different country like i was heartbroken i still am and it made me like extremely sad about to my mother <laughs> and to my two friends that actually cared or you know and stuff about <laughs> i cried because we had such a great relationship like a great relationship i understand i understood him he understood me and stuff and i think this was because like we had like a long discussion that first week we met about what we expected from a relationship and so even though i wasn't like whoa this was like going fast i had no intentions of dating i met this person like just click click and i'm like we talk about those things like what we expected from a relationship and like what was not acceptable and we understood each other and he was like i'm gonna say it like a hundred times he was a perfect guy <laughs> Yes, and someone I could have seen myself spending the rest of my life with. But anyways, fast forward to January 8th, I think. Yeah, it was January 8th when he said he, he was leaving Japan. And then after, where was going? He's not, he wasn't even going to be there for a very long time either. But he's just like, moving, moving, moving. So in my mind, like, could this work? But deep down, I knew we couldn't, like, and stuff. never in a million years i thought i'd be on the internet talking about relationship my relationship or whatever so yeah never in a million years i like i thought i would be here talking about that but as i mentioned like we after me not going out no sneaking nothing like that not even a kiss almost two years i was just like instantly connected to this person and like it was like no longer going to be in my life 
and he made me so happy so 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 happy and the thing is you know we talk about a lot of things we eat we spoke about that too when we we met like about that he might not be in japan for long and stuff at that time like i wasn't in too deep i wasn't thinking about it too much like let's go with the flow go with the flow but like as i said he was a great guy he treated me with respect and he was very nice and good to me and stuff so of course i fell <laughs> in love with him and stuff yes some of y'all don't believe in that shit I'm a, I'm a hopeless romantic right here i am a hopeless romantic so i don't give off that energy but i am yeah so he said that he was he had to go away and stuff and it like absolutely tore me and that's when i went into deeper depression that i was in already even though like i am in a way better state no i still don't like talking about it but like in the initial moment i was like asking my mommy why on the phone so i don't share things like this with my mother so it was like for me to be oh it's five o'clock already talking to her about this it was like very serious and and my two friends as i mentioned that were like checking on me about the whole situation so one of them even suggested that girl why are you not just go with him and stuff i'm like it's not that simple go with him and then he's gonna move again and move again and move again like, i was saying like that really really broke me like i cried i did really cry by the time you see this video it's gonna be like three months no it's not gonna be three months almost three months but i did ball for weeks <laughs> anyways because it was it was very good and as i said it was someone that i could see him spending my life with but we're our lives are going in like two separate directions at this time sit like a lady little girl and stuff and my even the friend that said why you don't just go with him and stuff like i explained why i couldn't just get up and just go with him and she said this and this is something that like i really appreciated from her she said like well he was a great guy and i saw you guys together and stuff and like whatever whatever but not everyone is in your life for long term not everyone is in your life forever but people are always in your life something along that line she said not exactly word for word people come in your life for different reasons and for different lessons and for different seasons or something like that and yeah i totally agree with her because going forward in my life he the way he treated me for this treatment <laughs> is my standard for how i want to be treated yeah sorry anyone who comes after but that's my standard yo my standard so mm -hmm. i'm trying to avoid a conversation why am i why am i on youtube I'm trying to avoid and i was the one who brought it up so yes yeah i got my heart broken because of that we, we, we're cool we're both cool but like He's no longer in my life in the way he was before and it really 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 shook me up yeah and i am mentally separated like but emotionally i'm still not there as yet i'm really not there emotionally but i'm working on it probably hopefully by the end of summer yeah my heart is still broken it's slowly getting back there but yeah i think that concludes my first episode of dear diary let me know in the comment section how you guys deal with depression and don't forget if you like this video like if you didn't like it comment down below and tell me what you liked about it and tell me what topics do you want me to talk about in this series um dear diary until next time bye